afternoon and thanks for joining us Across the Fence. I'm Jolay Whitney. One third of Vermonters have prediabetes and 90% aren't aware of it. Prediabetes is a serious condition where blood sugar levels are higher than normal, but not high enough to be diagnosed as type 2 diabetes. And prediabetes often doesn't exhibit symptoms. The Vermont Department of Health is partnering with hospitals and medical centers throughout the region to offer a program called My Healthy Vermont. To talk about My Healthy Vermont, I'm joined by Melissa Southwick, the program manager of My Healthy Vermont, and Walter Ziske, a community health team care coordinator and a health coach at the Gifford Health Center. Welcome to both of you. Thank, Thank you. you so much. First of all, Melissa, let's start with you. Can you just tell me about what My Healthy Vermont is? Yeah, My Healthy Vermont is a program administered by the Vermont Department of Health. It's implemented by regional coordinators across the state embedded in hospitals and federally qualified health centers. We offer self-management workshops focused on managing, preventing, or delaying chronic conditions. And can you tell me a little about what workshops you offer? Yep, we offer six currently. There's the high blood pressure management, chronic disease management, chronic pain management, quit smoking, diabetes prevention, and diabetes management. And who's eligible to participate in these? Sure, so anyone 18 and over and can participate in these programs. They are group programs, they're offered online or in person, and they are focused on each specific health condition as well as things that can help improve health in general, like reducing stress, improving sleep, um, and how physical activity and nutrition can play a part in, in overall health. And we mentioned a little bit before this taping, you were talking about how they're somewhat in a collaborative environment, how people get to work together. Do you mind just speaking on that a Absolutely. little bit? Absolutely. So they have a group setting and you can come to the group. You are There's a curriculum that's followed, but also there's time to share your experiences and your successes and challenges. So for example, in the blood pressure management workshop, we, were, we work on reducing sodium intake. And so one participant might be struggling with how to do that and another participant might have ideas to share. So they're able to learn from each other and really build that group um, experience together. Yeah, it's not just one teacher, they're all exactly. working together. Yeah. And as I said earlier, about a third of people have it, but 90% don't know. How are we kind of addressing the issue of people not knowing that they might have prediabetes? Sure, so at My Healthy Vermont, we're addressing this with our Diabetes Prevention Coalition. This is a group of dedicated people who've been meeting over the last four years. It's comprised of primary care physicians, diabetes care and education specialists, primary uh, public health specialists and community health workers, among others. So their main goal, they meet regularly, and their main goal is to just help spread awareness. Um, one of our key goals is to have just everyone take the prediabetes risk quiz, which Walter will tell us about later. Okay, and on top of that quiz, is there a way to know for sure that you have prediabetes? A blood test will actually be the best way to know for sure that right. you can do through your doctor. Great. And Walter, let's um, turn to you a little bit. You um, work with the Diabetes Self-Management and Diabetes Prevention Workshops. Can you tell me a little about those? Sure. The Diabetes, uh, the diabetes Self-Management Workshop is for anybody who has a diagnosis of type 2 diabetes. And we work in those workshops to talk about nutrition, activity, um, foot care, better, mani better medication management, working with your doctor. And um, anybody who has a diagnosis of type 2 diabetes can come to the workshop. They can also have a support person, a family member, a spouse, a friend, anybody who wants to know more about type 2 diabetes. Um, they also, either the participant can come and have the support person with them or the support person can come themselves to learn more information. The Diabetes Prevention Program is for anybody who is at risk or could potentially be at risk or has a diagnosis of, of prediabetes. Um, it's a year long program. First 12 to 14 weeks, we go weekly and then we go, we taper it down to every other week and then once a month and it kind of covers some of the same topics, which is nutrition, physical activity, um, uh, heart health, and anybody who um, it, uh, is at risk for type 2 diabetes can, um, can take that class. Okay, and how many people do you usually have inv involved in classes like this? Um, usually it's anywhere from 6 to 12 people are taking the classes. They're online and in person. And of course, there's a facilitator leader. And uh, like, the, like Melissa said, you know, they, they, they get support from one another um, they find out how to, how to move things in a different way. They set action plans each week, and they're able to really change behaviors. Sounds like a real team effort. It is a team <laughs> effort, yeah, and it's collaborative. And we've had, heavy, we've had peop people, sorry, all done. <laughs> we've had people who have ended the class with a facilitator, and they've gone on to still meet weekly after the class because they like the support. Absolutely, and you mentioned um, exercise being a huge component of what Correct. you're talking about. We know it's important for mental and physical health. What kind of exercise are we talking about? How much? So each of the programs, rec that's a great question. So, so, 
That's a great question, and each of the programs recommend moderate activity where you can talk through the activity, but not sing through the activity. All the workshops, they recommend 150 minutes per week of activity, and that can be broken down in a variety of ways. It can be 30 minutes five days a week. It can be, um, it can be 15 minutes two times a day. It can be, thir it can, uh, hold on. It can be 15 minutes two times a day, or it can be 10 minutes three times a day. The most important thing is to start where you are and slowly increase and have it become more consistent and a habit for you. Okay, and is that something that you've seen people doing together? Or you mentioned there was a big community in the groups. Yes, so we've had people in the groups who, who you know, either go online or meet and, and walk together, or uh, they're even on their cell phones talking over the phone while they're walking. Always great to have a buddy. <laughs> it is, yes, you're accountable to that buddy. <laughs> and you mentioned it, or, um, exercise, like we've just been speaking about. Do you have any quick tips about the nutrition component of that as well? Well, the nutrition comp component, most of the activities talk about us, the, the high blood pressure, um, the high blood pressure workshop talks about the DASH diet. Um, that's a popular diet with that. Um, the diabetes prevention program talks about the meal plan. But the, all right, hold on. Throw me a curveball here. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> Sorry okay. about that. No, it's all good. My plate. Um, yes, thank you. Mm -hmm. The uh, diabetes prevention program talks about the my plate method, which is half of your plate should be low starch vegetables, and then half of your, a quarter of your plate should be a protein, and the last quarter of your plate should be some sort of grain or, or a carb. Uh, with that, the uh, diabetes self-management program also works towards that as well. Okay, and we haven't really spoken about the risk factors for prediabetes. Can you tell me about what those are? So prediabetes are being overweight, um, having a high blood sugar um, level, which can be tested with your, with your doctor. They can test a, it's called a hemoglobin A1C. Um, sometimes a glucose uh, comprehensive metabolic panel can also test your glucose, which is a point in time. <laughs> Tell me about who runs these workshops that you guys are doing. So that's a great, that's a great question because you want to be confident in who leads these workshops. So currently we have 70 lifestyle coaches trained across the state who lead either one or, two or more workshops. Um, all of these workshops are evidence-based and uh, they're trained by master trainers. Uh, myself and one other person in the state is uh, master trained to be able to teach others how to lead the diabetes prevention workshops. What kind of feedback are you getting for these workshops? I think people are often surprised at how connected they can feel to a group that forms virtually. Um, but it, the facilitators do a fantastic job of making sure that everyone's able to join and participate in the way that they want and it feels comfortable to them. We also have heard some specific feedback. We get it quite frequently. The diabetes prevention program, we recently heard from a woman who said that the structure and the step-by-step -step approach was really helpful for her. And with the diabetes self-management program, somebody thought to reach out and send a letter after afterwards saying the facilitators were top-notch, the group conversations were just really key for them to realize other people were dealing with the same issues and, and had the same questions, and basically that they loved it, they would recommend it to everyone. Okay, and you mentioned just barely that they meet virtually. Can mm -hmm. you just remind me, are they all virtual or are some of them in person? Yeah, we have some in person right now. The majority of our workshops are happening virtually and we're building back up our in-person workshop offerings post-pandemic. Okay. Um, and say you do one of these workshops, is it possible to reverse diabetes? So there's, there's, many different, there's many different factors to that. There's some doctors who feel you can never reverse di type two diabetes, that you'll always have that the rest of your life. What you can do is reduce the risk of the complications of type two diabetes. Okay, and you mentioned um, a little bit more about maybe my not knowing enough about, about diabetes care, but you mentioned um, part of the workshops um, for people who already have type 2 diabetes in includes foot care. Can you tell me about maybe what that looks like or why that's even a factor? So most people who have type 2 diabetes have developed symptoms of neuropathy in their feet, so they can't feel when they have a wound. So foot care is really important for them to be able to make sure that the wound doesn't get affected because then that can lead to worse, worse wounds and it can also lead to possible amputation down the road. So definitely something you wanna get very definitely good Definitely something, at. yes. Yeah, yes, and usually, usually what we encourage people is when they go to the doctor's office, take off their shoes and socks so the doctor actually checks their foot each visit, which is really important. Okay, yeah, some self-advocacy when, when you go to your primary practitioner. Yes, <laughs> yes. Uh, and how can viewers sign up? We tried to make that process very easy for people. So they can go to www.myhealthyvt.org 
and answer a few simple questions, just their name, their zip code, and what workshops they might be interested in. And then one of the regional coordinators from their area will reach out and get them connected, find a workshop that works for their schedule, send them any materials that might be involved, make sure that they can get on the Zoom link, all of those kind of things. So there's someone to really kind of hold their hand through the process. Um, we also just recently launched a My Healthy Vermont Facebook page, so we post all of the workshops there as well as the website, and we also share information there. So we're hoping to build a community of participants on the My Healthy Vermont website. And the last thing I would say, if there's anyone in your viewing audience that's interested but doesn't have access to the internet, please just call me. You can call me directly at 802-863-7270, and I'm happy to help you get connected that way as well. Really, the takeaway for us is just we want people to join. We have room, they're free, and we want to help so please reach out if you're interested absolutely and before we wrap up really quickly we talked a little bit about a quiz that helps people identify if they're maybe prone to prediabetes to try and like increase awareness for how many people have it how complicated is the quiz is it a lot of questions will it take a while it's only seven questions it'll take less than a minute and it will show if you're possibly at risk for prediabetes and then you can either attend one of the classes or you can go ask your doctor for a lab test which test your, your blood sugar to see if you really are at risk for prediabetes. All right, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for thank having you. us. That takes care of another Across the Fence. From the crew behind the scenes here at WCAX, I'm Jolie Whitney, have a good one.